Welcome back to Pardon the Interruption. I'm Marcus Gonzalez. And I'm Stevie Jimenez. And today on Pardon the Interruption, we're going to be taking a closer look at the NFL draft, the MLB and NBA's plans to possibly resume play, and Jalen Green signing with the G League. Stevie, let's start with the NFL draft. Only six days away. What are your QB rankings looking like for this draft? Going to this draft, uh, of course, you love Joe Burrow. He's the number one choice. And then you're looking at the next couple guys, Tua Tagovailoa, Justin Herbert, Jordan Love. And out of those three, I still think Tua Tagovailoa has the greatest potential, but you just got to question his ability to stay healthy. And then Justin Herbert I'd have is a firm number three. And Jordan Love, he has a lot of potential, but I think he's more of a raw prospect. All right. I mostly agree with your rankings. I'd make a couple changes. Number one, I still have Joe Burrow. Number two, I still have Tua. Number three, though, I have Jordan Love. To me, Jordan Love's potential is way too much to overlook, and I'm extremely low on Justin Herbert, which is why I don't even have an up number four. My number four quarterback is Jalen Hurts, and then number five, I have Justin Herbert. And the reason I'm not high on Justin Herbert is simple, is that to me, he doesn't elevate anyone's game. He's an inaccurate passer, and he can't lead a team. That's, it's plain and simple for me. That's a fair analysis, but still, I think you got to look at his intangibles, his height, uh, the size of his hand, his ability to compete. Um, I think that Justin Herbert could still be a great prospect, and you got to give him the opportunity to train with an NFL-level uh, training staff and see where he goes from there. And speaking of Fair on point. the field, speaking of on the field, MLB and NBA talking about resuming play. Stevie, which league do you think has the better plans for this? I do like uh, some of the rumors that have been floated around of how the NBA could return to play. Some are saying that they might be able to find a location and host their players and staff there and sort of keep them in a bubble. Some of the locations that have been mentioned are Las Vegas or even Disney World, even though that's pure speculation. But of course, with Las Vegas, they host Summer League there. The NBA has a great relation with the city. And then Disney World, at their wide world of sports, they have enough courts to host eight games at one time. So I think those are both some good options. And of course, they have the resorts available to keep their players and staff distanced. And I think that's fair. The NBA does have a good plan. But to me, I think the MLB's plan actually has potential to work if everyone can be assured safety. And here's why. You have 15 teams in Arizona, 15 teams in Florida based on the spring training divisions. It would require a realignment of the league, at least for this year. But there is more that the MLB can do. When it comes to big games later in the year, there's domed stadiums in both Arizona and Florida to ensure that these games get done. Yeah, both leagues, I mean, really, they can't set any, any plans into motion. They got to wait till the CDC approves uh, the resumption of games. And, of course, fans wouldn't be present. But thankfully, there's some optimism after Dr. Anthony Fauci said that sports could return potentially by the summer. Let's talk about a player that will be on the court as just a matter of time. That's Jalen Green for the G League. Jalen Green obviously projected number one pick in the 2021 draft. Stevie, what does this mean for college basketball and college sports in general? I think this decision entirely changes the landscape of college basketball and college sports as a whole, NCAA. Uh, they've All the pressure has been put on them now to start paying their athletes because really what's stopping more, more prospects uh, decommitting from their colleges and going to the G League or any other uh, sort of uh, training development league where they'd be getting paid. You know, Jalen Green's going to be making $500,000 a y- salary a year uh, in addition to a shoe deal, which could be up to seven figures. Yeah, Steve, it's not often we agree on a lot of things, but I think there's no doubt here we can agree the NCAA is in a massive hole right now and they've put themselves in it. Quite honestly, they've refused to pay players. They've made it very tough on the players to do anything outside of their sports. And Jalen green just made an obvious decision to go play for the G league, make money, have NBA doctors at his disposal and expose himself to NFL coaches, excuse me, NBA coaches. And to me, there's no reason why Jalen green could have made a better decision. Jalen green made the best decision for himself and possibly revolutionized decision-making for all college prospects. And I think that's what prospects are going to start doing. They're going to start making money uh, as soon as possible. Yep, I agree 100%. Well, thank you for tuning in to Part of the Interruption. I'm Marcos Gonzalez. And I'm Stevie Jimenez. Signing out.